Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Ben's Box. Today we're going to look at MySQL again. Uh, this time we're going to create a tables. Uh, we're going to do this in two ways. Uh, we're going to use SQL straight from phpMyAdmin and we're going to use the wizard in phpMyAdmin. You can also do this in PHP. Um, I'm not going to cover that at the moment because we haven't got to PHP. So if I get requests for it then I will cover it later on. Um, but as the moment I'm not going to do that at all. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do I can say we're going to create a table. Uh, so I've gone on to PHP MyAdmin as you can see, and I'm just in one of my databases. This database is called Tutorials, as you can see up here. Okay. Uh, so we'll start off writing in SQL. Okay. Uh, so click on the SQL tab at the top. And to be honest, SQL is very straightforward. Um, it basically speaks English, to be honest. So what we're going to do, we're going to write create table. So that's what we want to do. I'm going to call it orders. Okay. I need to write create properly there, otherwise it's not going to work, obviously. Okay. Then we just have two brackets, and in between these brackets is going to be our fields. Okay. So the first field we're going to have is just called an order ID, because on every table we should have an ID. Um, just so you know, the ID does have primary keys. I don't know if you know much about primary keys and foreign keys. Okay, um, basically the foreign key and the primary key are what linked together. Uh, so if you w looked at the uh, data relationship uh, or the entity relationship diagrams, uh, what links them to is the primary key and the foreign key. Okay, so the primary key in our orders table is going to be order ID. Okay, because this is going to be the identification of each of these uh, pieces of data. Okay, so what we'll do, this is order ID. We're going to make it an integer, so we write int. Okay, and not null. Uh, basically, not null means that this field has to have a value. Okay, it can't be left empty. Alternatively, you can put null, and that means that the uh, the em um, it can be left empty. Okay, but obviously, this is um, going to be an ID, so we always need an ID in there. Okay, regardless if you're going to put not null or null, we are going to add auto increment. Uh, so it's never going to be left empty. Um, if you don't know what auto increment is, it basically means that every time something is added to this database or to this table, um, it will have an ID given to it automatically. Okay, uh, and I do need to spell increment for a start. Okay, uh, so that's going to be our, our order ID field. Okay, so this is where it's just going to keep the IDs of each order so we can keep track of it more easily. Uh, the next one we're going to have is member ID. So this is going to be the foreign key in this table because this is going to be linked to the member ID in our members table. Okay. And again this is going to be integer and we need it to be not null because we do need to link it to a member. Okay. Next we're just going to have address. Uh, I just stuck this in here just briefly. Uh, this isn't the proper way that I would suggest to lay it out. It's not a logical way. Um, but I just wanted to add var char in here just so you can get grips of how to write it. Okay, uh, so obviously, like I said, if you watched the previous tutorial, it does require uh, a figure or the maximum amount of characters allowed inside the um, field. So I'm going to put 255, which is the maximum. Okay, um, this again, it's not null because obviously we're going to need an address. That doesn't matter too much because we are only doing a practice, okay? Uh, again, we're going to have to do uh, order date. Okay, so we're going to want to know what the date of this order. And we're going to use date time. So we get the order date and the order time that this was made. Okay. Um, again, not null because we do need it in there. And obviously we're going to create a default. Okay, just so in case anything happens. And we put a default in there. It's easy to find. Problem, uh, problem uh, data. If if there's a default, okay. So if the default hasn't been changed when the um, details had been uploaded, we can easily search the default, and we know that there's been a problem with that order. Okay. So we're going to create the default, and it's just going to be like I showed you in the previous tutorial, like this. So this is going to be year, 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 month, month, day, day, hour, hour, minute, minute, and second, second. Okay. And the last thing we're going to do is just going to do the total cost. Alright. So like I said, this isn't really the practical way of laying this out. But um, I just want to show you examples of uh, how to do it. 
so this is going to be a decimal again like I, we went through in a previous tutorial and I'm going to put 10 to, okay, so that means uh, that we can have 10 whole numbers and 2 decimal places which is all we need for a cost okay um, and we're going to create this again not null because we're going to need a price in there and a default again which is just going to be nothing okay so zero dollars zero cents or zero pounds zero pence whatever and finally we do need to set the primary key for our table okay so we just write primary key and our primary key like I said is going to be order ID and that is it that is our SQL written up in PHP Admin to create our first table so let me just submit it just to make sure everything does go smoothly I might have made a few errors let's have a look yes I have what errors have I made ok create table you have an SQL syntax default zero what is going on here then not oh, now, ah uh, ok, I didn't spell default correctly sorry about that guys now there's only a problem with using SQL, you do have to be precise and you have to get everything right but like I say, it's always good practice to know how to do things in SQL because people do look for it, but like this, now that I've um, changed the default back to default, not default it does it has gone through, so I'm just going to run over it again quickly with you and uh, just to show you what I've done, so first of all we state that we're going to create a table and it's going to be called orders okay and then we put the two brackets around all the entities and all the data okay so the first thing we're going to do is create our primary ID for orders and this is going to be an integer we do need it because it's got written not now and it's going to be increment, auto incremented so each time something is added to this field, uh, to this table it is automatically given an order ID okay and then we're going to have our foreign key which is going to link us to the members table okay and this again is going to be an integer because the member ID in members is also going to be integer and it is required okay and then again addresses address even we're just going to use varchar maximum amount of values is just 255 and again not null so we do need the contents there uh, we have our order date which is going to show us the date and the time that this order was made again it's required and we've set a default of z zero day and zero time okay so if we do want to search for any errors or anything at all we've got to do a search for this date the default date and we'll find them straight away and lastly the total cost um, which has got two decimal places okay and the default is just going to be zero all right and lastly we set the primary key for this table which is going to be order id so that should be pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Okay, if you have any problems with this, or you want me to go into it any further, or look at any other problems, or any other uh, field types, data types, sorry, by all means to comment, or leave a post, and um, I will get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, we'll have a look, and if I think it needs another tutorial, then we'll go through it. Okay, so that's how to create it in SQL. The next way is a much more easier way. But like I say, it's always good to have SQL in your head. I'm just going to drop this table just so we can create it again. So, like I said, drop is the same as delete. Okay. So, I'm just going to go back onto my database, which is tutorials. Click here. Create a new table on our database tutorials. Okay, so we're going to call it orders again. And we had, we had five fields. That's right. Okay. So, our first one was um, order ID. See, I've probably used a lot of these before. Okay, what we're going to do is just scroll along quickly. We're going to find auto increment, which is A underscore I. And we are going to set primary ourselves, but it normally does it for the auto, uh, auto increment if you don't set it yourself. Okay, but if you want to set it yourself, all means do it. Okay, then next we're going to have our foreign key for members ID. I need to spell member ID properly. And again, this is going to be. Uh, going to be the front key for our member table okay next we're going to have our address and this is going to be varchar 
and we had two five five set as our limit which is the maximum next we had order date and this is going to be date time there we go and as defined there we go so we click on our default bit here as defined and that's it there and lastly we had our total cost okay which was decimal and that was 10 2 so we set the values the length values in here and now we had a default of 0 didn't we so 0, 0.00 and that is it okay because of all of our I know we need to, do need to do one thing and that is it okay I think that's all good all right. Okay, so we set one of our fields up in this wizard. What we've got to do: save it, um, wait for it to load and process. Okay, just want to show you this quickly up here if you can read it. Not null is automatically been put in for us. Okay, we do have the option to select null if we want it, but not null is the default. So obviously we didn't have to do anything there. Um, and that is it. That's us created another number table in the PHP my admin table wizard okay which is like you know wasn't much faster than doing the SQL I know um, but if you do get pretty straightforward and you're pretty comfortable with SQL then sometimes it can be a lot quicker than having to enter all these details yourself okay uh, for, the, uh, for the wizard anyway um, but that is it for creating a table like I said if, you, if you're really fussed about having a PHP tutorial on this and how to create a tutorial uh, sorry create a table in PHP and ball means do leave a request and uh, I will consider it definitely um, but if no one's fussed then I won't bother okay so thank you for watching please subscribe and uh, I'll see you on the next tutorial cheers